some uh, get some white on here first. Cover the whole board in uh, some liquid whites. I've already given this a coat of gesso. Uh, Harold, how you doing? Nice to have you here. So yeah, I'm just putting uh, a coat of liquid um, liquid white on first, and that allow me to blend all the paints on there when I when I get going. Make it nice and slick. Uh, good evening, my friend. Says, hey, hey Davies, how you doing? Let's tap the screen, and get this party started. Let's get this party started. How is everyone? Where's everyone watching from as well? I like to know where everyone's watching from. Always nice to know. Yeah, so I've got um, a coat of gesso on here first, which is white gesso. Let that dry, which is basically water-based. And now this is oil paint going straight on. And that allows me to, uh, like I say, blend all the paint on there. Okay. Uh, oil paint is cheap and... Yes, that's exactly what I'm using. It's good paint. Uh, Northern Ireland, it's Harold, nice to have you here. Uh, we got, I need to bring this closer because I can't read it. <laughs> I'm gonna have it over here in my usual place. It's too far away, hold on. Oh, day. David, UK, Liverpool, Martin in the Philippines. Wow, okay, all around the world so far. Nice to have you all here. Has anyone been, has anyone been here before? Uh, seen me paint before? Or have we got all new people? Or... Okay, so now we've got this coated up, we can start making a happy little sky. Yep, you have Harold, nice one. Okay, so let's put some, um, let's start with some phthalo blue. I'm gonna use the same brush and put a spot of paint on there. And we're gonna make a nice little sky here. Just gonna, same, same brush as I was using with the white. And we're gonna put some uh, paint on. Uh, Rasmataz, uh, oh, how you doing? Nice to have you back. Right, let's start at the top somewhere. This bit's always a little bit awkward for me because there's that sort of thing in the way there. So, I'm just doing crisscross strokes. And that's getting lighter as we come down. Leaving a few white patches there. And then we should blend that out. Uh, good, thank you, hope you're well. Yes, good, thank you. What are we doing for today? I'm gonna to do some happy sky and some mountains and um, some mountains, probably a, a lake down here, some trees, that kind of thing. I've got an idea of what I want, so. Okay, let's uh, let's get a little bit of red on the board. Last time I done a one, I used crimson, so I'm just gonna touch into the red here. Literally just touching, mixing with that blue. I just want a few little brighter spots. Gonna put a bit more on. Just add a bit of flavour to the sky. Um, let's have a look. How 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 do you live stream, by the way? Oh, on TikTok, yeah, I need a thousand followers to start with. What are your brushes made of? Um, all sorts. I've got some Bob Ross ones. I've got some ones from the local shop. So this one here, I like to do um, this kind of thing with. And then you've got some lighter, fluffy ones. I've got some badger hair ones down there as well, I think. But I don't tend to use that, to be honest. Okay, a bit more red. Let's just put some in there. Some up there. 
this makes sort of a sort of a grey sort of okay. Let's um, let's just pull some of this out now. So this brush here is a Bob Ross one. Have you thought about running? No, turn into different styles of oil painting. No, not yet, because I'm still learning this kind of technique. Bob Ross, good artist. Yeah, I've learned everything that I've watched from him. So, and this is what sort of got me into it. So, so I'm just going to blend some of this out. We'll do some happy clouds. So yeah, I've got a sort of a a real a different sort of dry brush here. I'm just blending this out until it looks like some kind of sky. Make sure I get underneath there because it's quite tricky that bit. That's what's holding my painting up. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Maybe just a bit more around here. Just blend that out as much as you like. Some hints of red and distant, distant clouds that they're already sort of thing, you know. Um, Jim Berry, how you doing? Nice to have you here. Uh, is is that dry brushing? It is a dry brush, yeah. Um, just like blending that out. So, okay, let's make some clouds. I'm gonna try something different tonight. Um, I'm gonna to try and make some sort of clouds with, um, I'm just putting a little bit of crimson on the board. Tiniest touch. I'm gonna try and make some clouds of like a, a different color underneath. So they're like darker and then white on top. So this is my first attempt at this. So we'll see how this sort of works out. I just want sort of a gray sort of color. Just mixing that up on the board. This could go wrong, but who knows. I want sort of a grey colour underneath. And then hopefully the idea is to sort of mix that together. Let's have one here, uh, about here. Very little paint really on this. Let's just see how that goes. I'll put some white on top of that and then blend them. That's the idea anyway. Okay, let's... Um, I'll try and read all the comments if I can. Yeah, I'll have to look them up. Thanks, Harold. Thanks very much. Keep tapping the screen for us, guys, um, if you can. Um, don't forget to check out my link underneath my profile picture. Um, what else can I say? Oh yeah, press the share button if you could down there and just copy link, that's it. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to send it to any, anyone. But that helps if you can do that, guys. Right, let's get some white on the board. Okay. I think I'll use the same fan brush, but I'll give it a little bit of a clean out. I've already got... I've already got oil paint all over my fingers from somewhere. <laughs> Try and keep clean, but it doesn't always work out. Yeah, I'm just sort of cleaning this brush off a bit, so I'm kind of nicking it, if you know what I mean. Okay. So I'm going into this white. Hopefully you can see that down here. Quite a lot of paint. Yeah, quite a lot of, it's quite a thick paint this, so I've got a, I could thin it down a little bit, but the trouble is when you're doing clouds, when you go to fluff it about, it goes everywhere. So let's just try and put a bit on. And of course it's turning blue anyway. Okay, that's sort of the idea. And then we'll blend them out and they should look, look a bit better than that. So that's like the un underneath of the cloud. I'm gonna get it like bright white near the top. If I can. A bit more white. 
some little wispy bits, put some little wispy bits in. Okay, we can try blending them out and see what, see what happens. Who knows, might be all right. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. How do you correct any mistakes? Do you just paint over it? Yeah, exactly that, exactly that. Sharon, nice to have you here. I'm good, thanks. I hope, how, how are you? Uh, do I wait, better go to sleep, catch you again, buddy. Good night. Uh, take care, mate, nice to have you. Uh, tips, this is so calming, thank you very much. Don't forget guys, tap the screen as much as you can. Um, share if you can down the bottom. You don't need to send it to anyone, but share and copy link, that, that's sort of fine. So I'm just sort of blending these out. Hang on a minute, I thought that was a clean brush and it's got green on it, that's not good. Flipping heck. I'm gonna end up with green clouds. <laughs> Bit alright for grot bags. Right, hang on, let's, let's try and blend that out a bit better. I had a green brush, oh my gosh. So just blending the bottoms out, really. They could do with a bit more white at the top, to be fair. I think I'm gonna try, try and just put a bit more white at the top before I blend them out. I think it needs it. And I'm gonna use the, um, I said I wasn't, but I am gonna try and use, they just need brightening up near the top. Happy little clouds. Yeah, this is gonna be hard to blend this, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Well, I'm going to try and blend that. Again, I need a half decent clean brush. Um, so I'm going to wipe this out. Uh, any happy little trees? There soon will be. Tiff Taff, nice to see you again. Um, Sharon, you had trouble finding me? Oh no, I'm glad you're here. How many years have you got experience? Uh, about six or seven months. In, in total. <laughs> I've always wanted to give painting a go. Where do I start? Uh, tips. Um, do it, mate. I've, a, few have, a few have started and sent me pictures in. Um, you can watch all my live streams back on my YouTube channel. And you can pause and also zoom in, which is a great feature on YouTube. And you can find my YouTube channel. If you click my profile picture, there's a link. And that takes you to all sorts of places, including all my socials. So... Right, let's just try and whisk some of these up really gently. Want them little stringy things to come out. <laughs> I'm making the noises again, sorry guys. <laughs> I can't help it. I can't help it. <laughs> okay, so we've got some little things lifting up. Now, now literally, Two hairs and some air. Very gently. Just fluff them up. Them bottoms are quite nice actually. You've got, sort of got all different kinds of colours in the clouds. You do see these kind of clouds. Maybe just before it rains, but... Uh, yeah, that's all right. It'd be nice to know if you give it a go as well. Let's get the shares up, guys. Just press share, press copy link, and that's what you need to do. Thank you for any new followers, any gifters, everyone tapping the screen. Really appreciate it. Okay, so. Let's have a look at them then. I'm quite happy with them. We're gonna have some trees probably covering a lot of this, a lot of this cloud, but yeah, that's the kind of look I wanted wanted to do. That's the first time I've done like an underneath a different colour. So I think it's turned out quite well. 
Uh, do you finish painting in one sitting? Yes, I do. It normally, it's normally about an hour, if that. Uh, beautiful, my friend, says Taylor Mike. Thank you so much. Where's everyone watching from? Please type in the comments. I know a few of you already have, but it's really nice to know. Well, we're gonna make some nice mountains. We're gonna make some nice mountains. If you haven't seen that done before, then stick around. But I'm just gonna add a little bit of fluff here, because I think it needs it. If you're not happy, just do it again. Or add. So I'm one to do it like in little bits and then just sort of add bits. There you go, look at that, I think that's quite nice. What do you think of the clouds? Right, okay, let's have a look. Uh, Titch, Mid Wales, nice one. Sharon, Northern Ireland. We've got Orville, Ohio, USA. Australia, nice one, in East London for Maureen. Thanks, guys. Right, let's put some, uh, let's do some mountains. Let's have some fun. This is fun. Right, I'll tell you what, just before I do that, I'm gonna have some water in this picture. So I'm gonna just lay some water out, just some color. So I've got some sap green here. This, this is very quick, this bit before the mountains, but I've got some sap green in the blue. So I'm just gonna go into the sap green a little bit and then into this blue. Sap green, bit of blue. I'm just pulling the brush. This is the same brush I use for the for the um, sky. So I'm gonna have some water in, so I'm gonna pull some. So I'm just planting some color and then we'll, we'll work back to this. I'm just gonna pull some color in. Nice and straight. Going the other side. See, I'm leaving a little bit of a bit there. Let's just get a bit more colour on there. That's it. And you want to keep this straight, although I've gone a little bit off because this bottom of this um, board's in the way, uh, the easel's in the way. One day I'll get a new easel when I can afford it. Okay, so we're just laying some colour in for the water. Oh, let's have a look at some of the messages. Um, love it. Thank you very much, Miss. Uh, Susan, I like your clouds. Thank you so much. Uh, West Yorkshire, Miss. Thank you. Uh, California, USA. Brilliant. Uh, detecting uh, Anglesey. They look good. They look cloudy. Thank you. Miss, I'm in West Yorkshire too. Oh, that's cool. This, what art is not? This girl's shaking it. Yes, I agree. They only have to sit there and they get gifts like big TikTok gifts. I'm sitting here grafting, man. <laughs> but I know what you mean, I know what you mean. Okay. Okay. If you want to change the colour of that, you can. You can add some more green. Let's add a bit more green in places, just a tad. Okay. Right, let me think about this. Uh, thank you for the rose, I just caught a rose. Thank you so much. I don't catch them all, but I, I caught that one, much appreciated. Okay then, so to be honest, I'm gonna add just a little bit more sap green. I think the color of the water just needs that little bit more. So here we go. Yeah. I'm just pulling from the side inwards and then I'm going to blend this out and you can see that I've left that patch there and that will be for a reason that's better that's better okay now let's get a clean dry brush uh, thank you for becoming number one gifter I appreciate that um, let's see if we can get a quick uh, 5,000 likes we're on 4,000 already you're painting in time, keeping it up, brother. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I've got, I've got the, the sort of blending brush. We're just going to blend that out. Keep, look, keep your eyes on the middle where the white is. We've got a nice sheen of light coming. 
and then easy to easy to get rid of that totally so just go easy on that so we've got a nice sheen of light coming through there okay let's make some mountains let's go for it so mountain color so i'm gonna use some blue i'm gonna use some black some crimson maybe i could probably use what's on the board actually get some black out Jerry, thank you so much for the gifts. Much appreciated. Little chilies. Mm. Uh, Jerry is now the number one gifter. Thank you so much. Is it easiest to have the painting upright like yourself or face down? Uh, I, 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 think up, I think upright like this, personally. I think it's one of the things. I, I did used to do that. I did actually start doing that. but So I've got, all, I've got a bit of red. I've got blue. I've got black. I'm just mixing that all together. And that, it's not, see it's not pure back, black. Another little hint is I'm using a canvas that's covered in, um, you know, the film it comes with as a palette tonight, so I don't have to wash up my palette. So can you see that color? It's like a real sort of dark, ashy blue now. Can you see that? It's a nice color. Yeah, lying flat I found um, quite hard. So, yeah, so I pulled that out, little roll of paint on the end, and we are gonna make some mountains. I'm gonna have some big mountains today. Maybe they're going off into the distance somewhere, so I wanna see a bit of my cloud, but I wanna make sure that they show him coming along here. So I'm just scratching a bit of paint in, making, I'm just making the shapes of the mountains with the top. And then we should do all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Maybe there's a little hill there and it then goes right down there. Okay. So now we've got that on, we know where the top of the mountain outline is gonna be. Okay, so if we grab a brush, I could probably use this brush, so I probably won't use it again. So that's good. Thank you to everyone that's following, thank you for tapping the screen. What, what's that big of paint at the bottom, Kyle on the right? Oh, that's a bit of tape, sorry. Yeah, that's annoying, isn't it? Let's see if I can peel that off. Get it out of the way. And if that springs back up, I'm gonna kill it. <laughs> okay, let's go into this paint. I'm still using the same brush. It's gonna make it a little bit lighter, but it's okay. I just wanna pull this these mountains down. This is where I'm gonna have the mountains, some big ones, and they should be going into the distance. I haven't got a lot of paint on there at all. Okay, so. See what I mean? That is just the layer. I've got a little hair there. And a paint bogey. We've got some paint bogies going on. There we go. So, yeah. Just making the shapes of these mountains. I think we need a bit of a ridge there. Have a bit of a ridge there, maybe another one there. You can change stuff, you can do what you like. This is the fun of it. Um, yeah, it's the tape, isn't it? It was the tape, wasn't it? Keep pressing that screen for us, guys. Let's so my yeah, my record is 56,000 likes in one live stream, so you've really got your work cut out, guys. Okay, so I've got the paint. So we can sort of figure out where these mountains are gonna be. We're gonna have them quite steep, actually. So they'll be coming down here, down there. We're just gonna throw some snow on and see what happens. This is the one of the fun bits now. 
one of the fun bits. We're going to get some whites. We're going to have some stuff in front of this as well. So, so we've got some white. I've just got some plain white here. Just plain white. And that's really thick paint. A little roll of paint on the end there. And we want to make some mountains. Sharon, was it the tape? I think it was. Well, let's figure out where we want these, this, this snow. So I'm going to bring this forward because the uh, bottom of the easel gets in my way at times. So this will give me a bit more, it's a bit dangerous balancing it on the edge like this, but needs must. That is beautiful piece of art, love it. Thank you so much. Now let's put some, uh, oh, I was the tape, yeah, I thought so. Right, let's put some paint on, let's, uh, some snow. Well, and some paint. So let's think where we want this. We've got some snow coming down there. Okay. Let's think where we want these. Let's go right up there. It's coming down there. Right, and we're going to put some shadows in as well. So. This one sits up here. Making mountains, guys, we're making mountains. Bit more paint here. I really need to sort myself a new ease well, because it'll make it easier. easier. A lot easier. Uh, we're getting closer to the big ones now, guys. We're getting closer to the big ones. Keep tapping the script. Oh, wow, we're at 9.5. That's sharp. A bit more paint. Sometimes you need a bigger roll of paint than a, than a smaller one. Yeah. You can make these mountains any angle you want. It's so clever, really. Let's have this one like coming right down in front of that one maybe. So we can start up here. Let's put some snow on and drag it. Drag it right down. And we're gonna put some little highlights in. Maybe this one comes down down there a bit. See, I'm touching the board there, but it doesn't matter. Right, we're not going to go too far with the snow because I'm going to have some I'll plan for some trees in front of this as well. It's wonderful how the snow transforms the picture, isn't it? Hey, visual, remember me. How you doing, gangstar? Nice to have you back. Nice to have you back. Well, we're at 11.8k. 27 shares. Let's see if we can zoom that up to 50. Just share and copy link and that's it. You don't have to send it to anyone. Don't forget to check out the link underneath my profile picture. Let's start here. Yeah, this snow part is one is, is one of the best. It's one of the best um, enjoyable sort of things. It really is. My snow is getting slightly different colour now, but that's okay. We'll put some nice, we have a little bit coming down there and I can put some shadows in between there. We need some more white. That's a sure fact. Here we go. Okay. So I've got this colour, I've got this colour here of the white and I'm going to add some, I'm going to add a bit of this, I think I'll use a bit of this what I used earlier, it's going to make it a bit darker, so, God, it's really thick paint that is, I don't want it too similar to what's 
I don't want to see some of the mountains, I've got to see it, so it's actually blue, it's like a light blue now. And this is a good one, I've not much left over paint, so this is actually really good. So, knock up that, pull it flat, pull across, and we'll make some little shadows. Rob Ross, too excellent, <laughs> thank you. This is stunning, those mountains look perfect. Oh, thank you so much. Gavin, how you doing? Uh, Martha, how you doing? Thank you everyone for following. Thanks for tapping the screen. Don't forget to check out my link. I've got a, um, you can subscribe to me. We've got a nice little family going. I think six subscribers. It works out about a pound a week, I think, but you can choose a month or however. That really helps me out and supports me. And I've got a little gift goal going on somewhere up there as well. If anyone can manage that, that'd be great. Right, okay. I'm gonna put some snow down here. So this is a slightly different colour. This is the shadow colour. Okay. I'm just tapping them in there. It's good to leave some of the dark. You can neaten up some of the top bits there. Yeah, you can sort of leave some of the um, Let's have that one sort of swooping over in between them two, look. So I'll leave some dark there as well. Has anyone fallen asleep yet? It is kind of relaxing, isn't it, this music, so very relaxing as well yeah look at that it's giving it right um sort of depth isn't it real depth to the uh cool wow we're at 17.8k likes already wow we might beat 55 56 tonight <laughs> okay let's uh there's a number of ways i could do this actually i could hi I, i'll tell you what i'm going to do this and then maybe put some highlights in there as well So that's going off sort of that way. And uh, we're gonna have some down here. So I'm using the, the small end of the knife just to lay some of that on. They really are some nice rocky mountains actually. They've turned out quite nice. So I'm gonna clean this off and I'm gonna add a little bit of white. I just wanna put a little bright spot I think in there. It's just an idea that I've had and it might work out okay. Just a little bright bit of snow in here if I can get it on. So there's a nice little bit of snow sat in there in the corner. Look at this. Uh, thank you everyone for, um, yes, my finger hurts now. <laughs> uh, DJ Jago, Bob Ross is alive. How you doing? Nice to have you here. Uh, cloud looking at Kuzu. I can't understand that, but I think that might be good. <laughs> I'm hoping it's good. Right, so I'm just going to check over some of these and we can put neaten some of these up. I don't know why, but my white paint is very thick thicker than the other stuff. You can add bits of snow here and there. Just think where where the snow would sit. I've just picked up a little bit of um, magic white to thin down the paint, just a little bit, so I can get some of these edges on here. How just how do you transfer what you see and want to paint onto paper canvas? How? Um, I, don't know, I don't know, I just do it. Some nights I think, what am I gonna paint? What am I gonna paint? I, I, I really enjoy sort of mountains and stuff. 
and yeah, I get I get a lot of ideas from Google. Uh, watching obviously Bob Ross, uh, Bill Alexander. I like the the wet the wet on wet technique. This is all wet paint going on wet paint. So um, I've got a little bit of glare there. So okay, so let's make some mist. I'm quite happy with them mountains. They look quite 3D. Do you sell paintings? Yes, I do, yeah. And I've got lots of sale. Uh, if you click my profile picture, um, there's, it'll take you to my, there's one link underneath my profile on TikTok, um, underneath my profile picture. Yeah, you need to click the, I think it's up here. That'll take you there, it shows you everywhere. It takes my, where I get my paint from, everything. Everything to be helpful, basically. Is it just landscape paint? It is so far, it is so far. Yeah, it's like Bob Ross, exactly. It's that style. I watched him and then just give it a go. So I'm gonna create some mist at the bottom of these mountains here. Before I do that, I'm gonna put the board back. So we're gonna create some nice mist, okay? At the bottom of these mountains. Just by tapping. miss some of that out. You see the difference there and there? You've got some nice mist. You can go up as far as you like with this. You can have as much mist as you want. Just very gently putting some mist on. There, look at that. go down here and pick up some of this and just blend that in a little bit more. It's a shame because you won't see a lot of these mountains with the picture I've got planned so um, we'll, it's a background thing okay. Um, I hope this one will be my Monday. Sharon Watson you are you're more than welcome. Um, you, your ones are coming uh, I'm waiting for your two I'm, I'm holding on to two for you. They're yeah, safe and sound, re ready to ready to go for you. Uh, Glasgow, wow, what talent, mate. Oh, thank you, really appreciate that. Did you actually pick up any paint or just blend in the stuff that's already there? Blend in the stuff that's already there, um, Amy. Nice to have you here. Guys, don't forget you can support me by subscribing. Come and join my little family of six. Um, I think it's like a pound a week. That supports me. Be nice to have you on board. And you get like a little gift package or something. Any gifters, any followers, thank you if I've missed any. I really appreciate it. Appreciate all being here. Tapping the screen, everything like that. I miss a lot of stuff because of them painting. But right, so I've marked the the thing with my hand, so I'm just okay. We've got some little paint bogies on here. I don't know why where, where these come from, I really don't. Little paint bogies, that's what I call them. So I'm just taking them off with the brush. And then we can just get that up. Being careful not to get rid of that sheen of light. We're gonna do some nice water reflections as well. So yeah, I'm happy with the clouds. I really am happy with them. Yeah, very happy. Leave it alone, don't touch it. No, it's just a few little bits that I've seen. That just, yeah. Okay. Hi Winter, nice to see you again. A lot of people on tonight, good two sets. Have, how protection do you use to send them off? I just, um, yeah, they're basically in some cardboard, basically, and I wrap them in some paper. Just make sure that they're really, um, you know, safe, basically. And I always insure them as well, so. Just gonna sort this little bit out, I think. I think that's okay there. Just a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, we've got 204 people in here, that's mad. Are you Bob Ross? <laughs> Matt Jones, how you doing? 208 views, wow, it's quite busy. Keep tapping the screen for us, guys. Let's see if we can beat 56K. Yeah, so once you've done that mist, just gently pull across. You can even just pull up just a little bit, bring that up. Got another paint bogey. Don't want that there. Just 
gently bring up two hairs and some air. Two hairs and some air. Don't know where I got that saying from. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Your painting is elite. Do you sell these afterwards? Yeah, well, I tried to. There's lots of sale. If you press my um, profile picture, there's a link. There's so many pictures to go up where I sell them. They're all drying. So, yeah. I'd be interested in buying one from you. Matt Jones, yeah, you can also send me an email. But like I say, click that link underneath my profile picture on TikTok. That You can email me, which is visualfusions at yahoo.co. Is it uk or .com? I always forget that. Anyway. But yeah, my link, everything is underneath on my link, on, on my profile, on there. Um, Sharon Watts one, not this one. Sharon, do you want this? It ain't finished. How does it take for them to dry completely? Anything from a week to two weeks in some indoor heat. Normally, um, normally a good couple of weeks, I would say, to be safely dry. And then the, the less paint you put on, obviously, the, the quicker it dries, so. 23,000 likes, wow. Wow. Okay, let's think what I'm gonna do next. So I've done some misting. Let's put some trees in and some land. We'll have a bit of land across here, just in here. I, I don't wanna ruin too much of that, but there's gonna be some trees in front here, okay? I'm having like a curved thing. So this might look rubbish by the, end, by the time I've finished with it. Okay, let's get some sap green on them, on there. So I've got some sap green. Um, get, I wonder if I can get away with cleaning this brush very quickly. Actually, I'll just get another one. See if I'm gonna find a decent sort of fan brush that's big enough. Maybe this one here, or maybe this one. What's happened to Tony? What, Tony Hart? <laughs> okay, so here we go. So I've got some sap green. Just some sap green. I think I'll add a little bit of, um, let's add a little bit of black and blue in there. I'll just nick some of that off there actually. So I've got quite a thick load of paint here. We're gonna put some trees in now. Okay, here we go, right over. So if we have some land about here, we're gonna have some trees about here. So we're gonna go about here. Right over these mountains. Just drop it in. Keeping plenty of paint on here because it's picking up the paint underneath. So we got these a couple of we've got one there. I'm gonna need some more sap green and some black as well because of the colour underneath will make it too light. So Bob Ross is that you? <laughs> Love the mist of the base mountain, thank you so much. It annoys me how good this is. Oh thank you. Uh the the Marjorie. No, 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 I'm gonna put some highlights on. Not yet though, not yet. Not yet. Some more green. We're gonna have some nice highlights on them, which will bring it out nice. Okay, let's have one about here. Just put a little mark in where we want them. Just, o just over the mountains, I think, somewhere there. Keeping plenty of paint on. Okay, there's a couple there. I'm gonna have one here. I want this sort of roundish here, so maybe one about here. Okay. Uh, Unreal talent. Oh, thank you so much. 
with Misty Bob Ross. <laughs> you do paint with no, I don't. Um, I was gifted to paint, not give any is inspired. Yeah, yeah, give it a go, guys. Give it a go. Give it a go. Thank you to everyone that's following, um, tapping the screen, sharing gifts. If I've missed any gifts, then thank you. And uh, lovely to have so many here tonight. Yeah, I don't really want to get rid of, you know, some of that gap in there I'll keep. We'll put some nice highlights on these trees as well at the end. Either a bigger one or a smaller one here. Let's just put one in here. Keeping plenty of paint on because obviously I'm painting wet on wet. Okay, so just a little bit there. I think, yeah. Okay. We're not going to need too much. Uh, trees here so oh I picked up a bit of red there from somewhere but let's just see how that goes okay right okay let's just put something there okay Right, let's figure out what can I do. I can do. So I can add some water reflections there. I can put a bit of land in. Maybe I should do the land next. Then the highlights and some colours. The water reflections. Uh, hi, your Milky Way. Uh, Rex, beautiful. I love your tasty. <laughs> Thank you so much. Tony Fun Art used to be on regular. I don't know Tony Fun Art. The sea looks dreamy. Yeah, we've got so much work to do on that, but it's very quick. The water reflections are so quick. When we get to that, if you haven't seen it done before, then you'll love it. You will love it. Right, okay, let's put some little trees in here and finish that off. Maybe that, maybe that's going slightly into the distance, so. we we'll just fire some quick trees in here. They're getting a bit lighter. Maybe they get smaller as they go down. Okay, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna add, add, add some things in there anyway. But yeah. Okay, let's lay some. Yeah. Um, let's just put some there, some there. So these will be reflections. But yeah, while I've got the brush there, I'm just laying some of this paint on. Okay, you're probably thinking, what the hell is that? But trust me, trust me. Okay, let's put some land in. So I've got some, um, Let's go with some fan dyed brown. I'm going to lay a bit of land in, okay? Because these trees need somewhere to, uh, these salt trees need somewhere to grow. I need sleep, mate. Oh, okay, see you next time. Don't forget you can watch these back all on my YouTube channel. Your page reminds me of Bob Ross. Yes, that's who I watch. He draws a lot of Disney stuff. I don't know, I didn't read, I missed that, obviously. Don't change the C. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I've got some brown here, just some straight brown. And I'm gonna cut across, get a little bit on the knife there. We're gonna lay some land in here, so so it's in between. In between, I need to bring this forward. Don't forget to cut, tap the screen, guys. Um, tap the screen, share. And press copy link and that's it, don't have to send it to anyone. That helps me out. Gifters, thank you. Followers, thank you. So just putting a little bit of land in. Okay. There's a lot of colours to add, add on this. But yeah, there's a little bit of land in here. Bring that down a little bit. 
And then I've got some white here, okay, that I've had on the board. I'm nicking that and I'm just going to nick a little bit of that brown and make a marbly sort of paint there. See that? Very marbly. We're going to put some highlights on some of this. So not too much paint on there. Just want to pick some of this, this some little reflections. Okay. Right, let's have some fun with the old reflections then. So, what brush was I using? Um, I could probably pull down with probably pull down with a fan brush actually just pull some of this just pull these down maybe that's a bit uh, a bit too hard so the brushes I've got are just a mixture of um, brushes I've got some Bob Ross ones I've got some ones from um, that I use for painting decorating before just use whatever brush you feel comfortable I've even got this out of my kitchen drawer this is a pastry brush um, I've done one of my paintings last time, and I'll probably use this actually over here. I'm going to have a nice treat there. So, yeah, just do whatever makes you feel happy. So just pull straight down here. I should have done the highlights for the trees first, and I'll probably do that actually. Yeah, let's do that, because it makes more sense. But that's the idea, and then that will be going a lot better than what that looks, trust me. So I'm just gonna get another fan brush. We're gonna do some highlights on these. Um, so I'm gonna get some yellow and some black. Some yellow, some black, make a nice green. Yellow and black makes a nice green. I'm only gonna need some paint thinners. Uh, thank you so much for the gift. I missed it, but thank you. Yeah, I've got a gift goal going on up there if anyone wants to help out. And you can subscribe as well. Yeah, thank you. I've just got one of them gifts. Thank you so much. Yeah, Bob Rossi's brushes are still around, yes. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go into a little bit of thinners here. And I'm gonna mix some of this, this um, yeah, Bob Ross. We lost Bob Ross, unfortunately. So I've got some yellow, a little bit of black, pulling that in. I think I just added a little bit too much black, but yeah, I did. But I can sort that. I'm using the fan brush to knock it up with. Yeah, a bit more yellow is to um, move out of that, that out of the way. So yeah, by adding a bit of thinner to the um, paint, really helps that stick to um, the thicker paint that's on there. So. I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of what I'm looking for. Let's just see how that goes on anyway. A little bit brighter, still a little bit brighter. Maybe if I just use that on there. Should use the palette knife really just to... Okay, let's see how that goes. Just adding some highlights onto them trees, and that really sort of brings them out. Do I sell my paintings? Yes, I do. Thank you. Yeah, um, he's a fantastic uh, person and painter. The way he cared for animals as well. So we're just putting uh, these highlights on. Hopefully, you can see that, guys. It does look a bit shiny, I think, from where you are. But I can show you a bit better at the end of the stream. And then we'll put some of this color in the water as well. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos if you haven't already. We've got a little bit of red in this tree over here, but hopefully that'll go. That doesn't matter too much. Just put some little 
dabbles on this. You're not going to see. You're not going to see too much down here. Then we do some water reflections. Okay, so now I've got that. Let's go back to the uh, the other brush that I had, which is this one. Okay, don't need too much paint on there. I'm just going to pull this down now. Straight down. And then just add some of this colour that we put on as highlights. Just dotted here and there. Okay. All right, let's pull down. Let's uh, pull that down. Yeah, that's that's uh, true. None of his um, stuff just subbed on YouTube. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, Jerry, thank you very much for the gift. Much appreciated. I think I've just, I've just, I think I've just seen that somewhere. I have to look at my phone sometimes. But okay, now let's go back to the old fluffing brush. Uh, yeah, thanks for all the gifts. If anyone sent any. Don't forget you can subscribe, um, that would help me out. It's about a pound a week. Um, check out my link underneath my profile picture. Keep tapping the live. <laughs> okay, let's pull this down here. So just gently pulling this down. So this is literally quite light. So we're just pulling that down now until you're sort of happy with that. And then we're gonna go across and this is where you get the water. This is so light, keep your eyes on it guys because it changes quick. And there you have instant reflections and that paint that paint moves as well what do you think to that guys how long have I been painting for about seven months I started oil painting I started last month, March then I had three months off and then I've been doing it a couple of times a week so yeah what do you think about that guys <laughs> <laughs> Love it, says Sharon. Oh, that looks more dreamy. Is that better now? So cool, thank you. Um, I've just covered your painting with lots of hearts. Oh, thank you so much. Stunning, looks great as always. Stevie, nice to have you here, buddy. Um, that's oil. Yeah, it is oil. Fantastic, isn't it? So, yeah, so we've got a nice sheen there. And you can move, you know, you can move this about as much as you want, but I'm quite happy with the way that looks. Um, and that literally is a couple of hairs on that brush. Let's think what we want here then. Just before I do that, there's something that I forgot to do and I always forget to do it. It doesn't matter, I can do it. I'm just tapping. I always forget to put the tree trunks in before the highlights. So I'm just gonna dab a few. You won't see a lot, but I'm just trying to get a few in there, you know? the tree trunk here and there. I always forget to do it, see? But no, it doesn't matter. i am just put a few in there so you can make out some of these. I'm just using the end of the palette knife. Easy done. Especially when you're talking, talking and painting. Lovely and fresh looking, thank you. Does your wife paint? I don't have a wife. I am single. I am single. I don't know how long for. I need some young lady to come and snap me up. I'm not. Who else is single? Well, you can just scratch some little things in here, look. Some little bits here and there. Jerry single. Okay. 
let's have a look at this. So yeah, we've got a nice little river bank going on there. Get yourself out there. Yeah, I'm very picky now. I got married once and, um, well, that didn't last long. I can't say the reasons why, but I'll just say it wasn't my fault, but, but anyone would say that though, wouldn't they? But it actually wasn't. Got to meet the right person. I'm quite picky myself. But I'm enjoying my, I'm enjoying my time. I have time to paint. Oh my God, you're single, get yourself out. Oh yeah, I read that. How do you get yourself out there, says Titch. <laughs> right, let's just have something here then. We're gonna have a tree here, I think some, let's have a little tree and some uh, thing. Okay, let's get my um, interesting brush out. Make some dark areas. Okay, so let's go in with the brown. I want it like a, um, tell you what, let's make a bit of crimson, a bit of crimson, a bit of blue, and some probably brown as well. I've got, see them two colors I got there? Yeah, and I'm just gonna knock this up here. This makes quite a nice sort of lavender color. I'm gonna add a little bit of brown to that if I can. A little bit of brown. I'm gonna live stream you on Tinder now. Duncan, Tinder, oh no. Tinder. I'm, I'm, I'm on a few dating profiles, but I, I don't look at them. <laughs> and normally you get someone from blinking, I don't know, miles away, and it's just like, oh my goodness. Okay, so I could mix up a sort of dark color there. Okay, let's see what that looks like. So I'm gonna use my cooking brush. Go into this. <laughs> you guys think I'm mad, I've got my cooking brush out. <laughs> Don't worry, I've got my feet in the frying pan because they're so cold. <laughs> uh, let's think where we want a tree. Let's go somewhere about here. Oh, I forgot to put the board down. Let's clamp the board down. That was, nearly lost it. Okay, let's think where we want this tree. We'll have one right just there. See how good that cooking brush is. We'll just make some dark all down here. There. Leave little bits of hints of melting through there. It's the sky, some clouds. And put some highlights on this too. Getting a load of dark on there, planning it all out. Yeah. There we go. Uh, Keith met his wife on plenty of things. Perhaps there's a lovely lady for you on here. Who who knows? Who knows? It's hard finding the right person, isn't it? You know? It really is. Do you know what, sometimes I actually think this is the life, I can do what I want. I think I can come in and paint when I want. I can imagine if I was with my, well, I'll say some people would probably say, oh, you're going in there painting again. I can imagine some being like that, you know? So, I'm happy until, I'm happy until so. Right, let's make some uh, color for this, these trees. Let's think about some, Nice tree trunk, so get my little brush out. We've still got 54 people in here, 26.5 thousand likes, amazing. The right person will have time for you paint. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So I'm gonna go into some, I might just go into some liquid white actually. Put some of this on the board. So I'm just adding some 
maybe a touch of brown as well. And we'll just put some, just some indications. So I've got brown and white on my brush, just for some tree trunk. You won't see a lot of this, maybe more, more white because it will show through. But you, again, you won't see a lot of, a lot of this. Just put an ind indication of tree trunk, of a tree trunk, I should say. Okay, maybe just a bit more white. I'm tapping on stop. Thank you, Jerry. Thanks for all the followers, gifters. Tapping the screen, appreciate you. My little gift goal's up there. Come and subscribe if you can, guys. Be nice to have you on board. And it'll make my day. One subscriber and I'll do a subscriber dance. <laughs> okay, so let's make some colour for this tree. Don't know what kind of colour. Maybe some yellow ochre. Some yellow. Some yellow, I've got some yellow here. I'm running out of um, sort of palette. We've got some red up there, I might use some of that too. Let's clean this brush off. So yeah, um, how did you learn to paint? So Tanya, thank you so much. Um, I literally just watched and started last year, gave it a go. And I've been doing it since. And I, w I was one never to sort of, you know, live stream as well. So I can't believe I'm live streaming, I'm painting like learning at the same time. Quite mad, really. So I'll nick a bit of this red. Not too much. Make some kind of colour for this tree. Don't quite know what sort of colour. I'm making it up. I want it lighter. Hmm. A bit more yellow. Yellow goes so quickly because it just disappears into stuff. Let's just see how that comes out. Did you like my cooking brush? Didn't it do well? Round of applause. Round of applause for the cooking brush. Pastry brush or whatever it is. I will subscribe but money is tight. Oh yeah, no, don't worry, that's fine. Um, I take it you learned from our book. Yes, yes, I watched well, he's got 35 series, and I'm on series eight, I think. I've still got loads to watch, but I, look, I looked here for the technique, and I thought, I'm gonna give that a go. And I'm so glad I did. Right, so I'm gonna get a bit of thinners on there, very carefully, you tipping it on the board, like a plonker. Probably regret this in a minute. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. This is quite yellow. Well, it's kind of what I'm looking for. Maybe some touches of red in there. Let's see if this works. Yeah, maybe just a, a bit more paint thinners. Getting used to the paint thinners as well is quite good. Uh, Jerry, look at all them stars. Are they full episodes? Where can I find them? Um, I think they're actually showing on um, BBC. I think it's like one a week. I think it was BBC Two the other night, actually. But I just searched on the internet. I don't know if um, Netflix has still got it. Some sort of red going in there as well. Needed, I think it needed a little bit more yellow, really, but it kind of, it kind of alright. Maybe I might be able to get some on there. Yeah, the, the yellow just goes so quickly. 
really does. Okay, I guess we can have some little bushes here and there. I'll keep some of the dark on there as well. So yeah. It's quite nice, it's quite bushy, isn't it? You see what I mean about the trunk? It disappears, but you know it's there. And we'll have some little bushes and stuff down here, I think. Uh, what's he was on Sky Channels the other day? I was watching him. Can't remember which one. Yeah, I don't know. If you search on the internet, you'll find him somewhere. There's a lot on YouTube, I think. What's easy, easiest to do for you, sky or foreground? Um, yeah, the sky is really easy. The mountains will find easier now. Um, the water is very easy, but it looks hard. So yes, yeah, I don't know. It's it's getting easier. I think. I think things are getting easier. Well, I definitely want some more yellow out because that's too dark. Yellow, some paint thinners. This is the bit that I struggle with the most, I think, is bushes, to be honest. Like little bushes and stuff. Yeah, and finding the right brush to sort of do it with as well. Going to some red. Got some little bushes down there. And then we want some lighter colour in front of that, I believe. Some more paint thinners. It really does make a difference using the paint thinners. But yeah, that's quite nice, isn't it? And it's, it's all to do with layering as well. layering different sort of colours here and there. Leaving some dark in here and there as well. Okay, I could have a little a little area there with some mud in, I suppose. But I've just dotted that about. That don't look too bad, what do you think? I might do a little path going in there, like behind the tree or something. Yeah, I might sell this if anyone wants to buy it. It's a nice piece, isn't it? Do you know what? You'll probably get more for that than my painting. <laughs> the way the art's going these days. <laughs> Don't overdo the red, I like the pastel colours. Brilliant, Is that, that's it, that's uh, enough red there. Yeah, that's definitely enough. Uh, I might lay a little sort of path in there then. Just a little one. Okay. Uh, June Berry, you got number two gift to bad. Thank you so much. If I've missed any gifts tonight, thanks guys. Um, new followers, thank you. Uh, uh, Sharon Watson just sent me a message. Okay, I can only look after the live because um, my phone's here. Um, recording it, so I'll have to see afterwards. Super job, mate, says Andy. Looks great. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Nice to have you all here as well. Right, let's go into some Van Dyke Brown. I need a new paint supply soon. The tubes are getting a bit low. It's not nice. Okay. Let's just lay a little path in here then. A little path, nothing too big, just a little bit of colour. And then we can put some highlights on there, just going past that tree. Look, and then I'll add a few more, a few more highlights on that, I think. <clears throat> right, yeah, we've got a bit of just a bit of white there, and we'll put some more there. And then I'll go in with that brush again, and 
and that color. Need some more thinners. And we'll just drop some bushes over back over that path. So have one there. One there. Just drop them in like that. And that just sets the path back a little bit better. Maybe there's some, just live down the edge of that path. There. Tell you what, let's, uh, where's my script brush? Good job tonight, one of your best. Oh, thanks June Berry, much appreciated. Everything looks so really, especially the clouds. Thank you, uh, Tijan. Thank you. So we're looking for some more subscribers. Come and join the gang. We've got six. We've got a family of six. We're at 29.5 thousand likes. Um, can we get 30? I guess we can. Yeah, and let's just put a little highlight on that. Okay, right, let's scratch some little twigs and tr let's just, tr we're gonna need some little twigs in here, look, just scratch them in. There's some little twigs growing there, here and there. Some holding up these bushes. Very, very quick way of doing like little sticks and twigs. Can you see that guys? People think you've spent ages doing that. <laughs> it's nice to have a little bit of dark under the tree there. You can just about make out that tree trunk as well. Um, I could just brought a new Bob Ross kit on Amazon for about £149. Oh, nice one, Susan. You're going to give it a go, or you've been doing it before? Let's see if we can get up to 30k likes. We're at 29.9. Don't forget, you can hit the share. Uh, Massey Keen, how are you doing? Those mountains are gorgeous. Thank you so much. Really good to have you here. How are you feeling now? Because you weren't feeling too good the other night. Um, it's just her. Uh, just a few little bits I can see though. Okay. I just bought a Bob Ross kit. Oh yeah, I've just read that. Oh, is that two of you that's bought a Bob Ross kit? Uh, this pick is sold to someone already. Who's buying this pick? I can't remember, because you know, I'm doing 5,000 things at once. Um, hold on guys. Oh, I'll tell you what, it looks good from a distance. It almost looks professional. <laughs> the clouds look good, I think. Well, there was something I was going to do. Don't, I can't remember what I was going to do. I was going to do something. Um, oh, Sha is Sha does Sharon wants it. Okay, I think she sent me a message, yeah. Okay. Uh, there was something I was going to do, let me think, there was something I was going to do. Before I started doing the scratching of the twigs, I was going to do something. I can't remember what it was. Oh yes! I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I need to find my script brush. I just want to do some little grasses down the bottom. Oh, there it is. So let's move this board out of the way, because I've kind of finished with that now. Oh no, I haven't, no I haven't. What are you talking about? Okay, so let's go into some paint thinners. How long does it take my paints to dry? Normally a good couple of weeks if I put them indoors. You know, my I've got my house heating on. Not over the top or anything, but um, you know. So I've just gone into some thinners here. And I'm just getting some of this green. Hopefully you can see that, guys. So it's quite watery now. So I'm just turning that into a very thin, Point there, and I'm hoping we can do some little. 
grasses here and there, you know, sticking out. Just a couple here and there. Adds to the flavour of the paint, really. Maybe there's a couple that live. Maybe there's a couple that live here. Yeah, not too much. It's easy to go. You enjoy yourself, and you you're going a bit too mad. You know. So it's good just to um, pause and have a look at it and just think, you know. All right, let's have a look at that. Um, let's have a look at it. Uh, Mazzy Keen, I, I love it. Oh, thank you. The sound effects are back. Oh, what did I do, Stevie? Steve, did you make it? See, I don't know I do it. Sometimes I know I do it, but not all the time. I'm just going to stand back and have a look at it. Just think of anything else I can do. I think it just needs a few here and there. I'm just going to go into some of this brown. So just a few twigs here and there, some little ones that you might see in the background. Yeah, that makes it look a bit better. Gives it more. Oh, we've got to do water reflections. I knew there was something. Water reflections, okay? Okay, we're going to put some water reflections on. Why do I always get covered in paint? I always go home looking like a Smurf. I've changed into an avatar with some kind of disease. It takes ages for me to wash up. Uh, yeah, I'm oh, uh, uh, tits, nice bridge going over. In my next, in my next one, I promise I'll do a bridge because I've been looking at some ideas. I was watching a Bob Ross painting the other day and he had a bridge in it, so I was thinking about that. Um, needs a boat in the water. I'm not familiar with boats, man. Yeah, let's do reflections anyway. Yeah, I, you know, scenery's my thing. I, I've got, I, I done birds the other day in the sunset one, because uh, there were a lot of people wanted birds. I mean, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Steve, I was covered in it earlier, dropped pallet on my lap. Oh no, I don't leave it on your chair, then sit on it. That's another one. That's another one to watch for. But I dropped one like this the other night, face down on the floor. So I had to clear that up. It wasn't too bad, I guess, but. I literally I'm running out of space. Okay, let's just work out the, maybe the top of the pot there. Someone said birds in the sky. I mean, I can put a, a few little birds in the sky. Um, but I don't know, I don't know if, you know, I don't know, I'm not overly keen about birds, but I suppose some people are. got some magic white here I need to cut right I need to concentrate on this I've got some glare going on which doesn't help I need to put a little water line in so bear with me guys so this is obviously where the water is coming back sort of thing. Got some real sparkly. Good thing about Magic White, it's quite thin as well, so you can really play about with it. And then we'll put some little sparklers on the water. Oh, I've got a hair there, that's not good. It wasn't mine. Does that make an improvement or what? You got like the earth, the the mud areas, and then you got that hitting the side of the banks. Uh, no birds, says Juneberry. 
could have a sun breaking into the clouds. Could have, but it's too late. Um, I suppose you can add lots of stuff to a picture, you know, but every picture, if every picture had, like, birds in it and stuff like that, if every picture was the same. Okay, let's put some little things here, here and there. Let's give these give some little water ripples. Shh, got to keep this flat. Anyone that's uh, sent gifts, thank you very much. Or rainbow in the distance, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good, thank you, Carol. Sharon, I think you want this one, don't you? Did you see the DM I sent you on Instagram? Lisa? Um, I'll double check. I'll double check Insta after the live. Is it from, would it say from Lisa or would it be a different kind of account? So we've got a nice, that nice sort of water reflection there anyway, so I don't have to go too mad there. Just some little ripples here and there. Sometimes you can just pull them over a little bit as well and they just really sort of helps with the look. <laughs> okay, I've got hair stuck on my knife there. Really annoying. Okay, just a few at the bottom of here. Um, Shara, uh, hang on a minute. But the message says my TikTok uh, within. Okay, I'll look out for that. Thank you so much. Um, what's the difference between magic white and titanium white? <laughs> Mazzy Keen says it's magic. <laughs> so magic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good answer. Uh, no, seriously, the magic white comes with a free wand. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. So, the titanium white, or you can get other whites as well, it's just, well, basically white paint, right? Magic white is mixed in with oil. You can make it yourself. So, like a linseed oil, or um, I use liquid clear. You can make your own with liquid clear, but I actually have got a pot of proper... Uh, magic white here because I got it in a bundle but um, there you go so hopefully you know the difference now and it's a lot thinner and you can work with it it's good for water lines and that kind of thing so you know you can really sort of play about with it the liquid see the magic white here you can sort of do stuff and almost make it disappear as well see, see it, it can go thin you can do so much with it Whereas the titanium white, it would, um, you'd smudge all it everywhere. So you can really sort of play about and work with it. You can move, almost move it about so it disappears. See what I mean? There you go. But yeah, I think that's enough. Um, I think that's enough water reflection. It's got a nice shine on that river or lake, wherever it is. Um, kit. Keith Potts looks amazing, thank you. Um, <laughs> it comes with a free one, yeah. A pot of Bob Ross, that's a good way of putting it, absolutely. Uh, Jim Berry, you've got a great sense of humour, thank you so much. I couldn't live without it. Sometimes I tell, my joke, tell myself jokes in the mirror. I don't laugh, but they're funny. Right, I'm gonna stand back. Okay, was, was it Sharon that wanted this painting? I've got to track back a little bit. Bob Ross would be proud. Thank you, Steve. And I, I'm proud of all you being here because you're all interested in art. And if I've provided some kind of um, relaxation for you tonight, then I'm happy. You know, if it's been entertaining for you, there's still 49 people here. And I appreciate that. Yeah, Sharon. Okay, Sharon, where would... 
If you're interested in this, I'm gonna ask you which side you want me to sign this. I normally go bottom left, but I could go bottom right. It'll be right in the middle of the river, or I could go right over to the other side there. I have, I have to get this um, looked at and um, see how much um, this is worth, but I've got an idea and I, I don't charge a lot, so I'm quite happy just to sell it, to be honest. Um, but, um, yeah, bottom left I normally go, but I was worried about the river. So I'll give the choice to Sharon. Jerry, my favorite lives. Thank you so much, Jerry. Really appreciate that comment, it's pretty nice. Sharon wants the right hand corner. Okay, that's fine. Okay, you feel very ch chilled watching this. Yeah, I'm so good. I'm glad that you, you guys feel chilled and that you enjoy it, you're all still here. I'm just gonna wash my script brush out and I'll be back. In the meantime, press the screen, tap the screen with your sore fingers already. Share, copy link, um, and all that. Back in literally a minute. I've got to go out into the dark and clean this script brush out. It's cold out here. The, uh, the outside tap's frozen, so I won't be using that water to clean that with brushes. Although I use oil first, obviously, and then rinse them out with um, water. Right, let's have a look. Uh, Titch, are you gonna do another? Oh, I don't know. Um, I commented on your wolf pic on Insta the other day saying I love it. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much. Oh, thanks, that helps out to narrow, narrow it down. Uh, Saz, you made that look easy, very impressed. Oh, thank you. Nice to see some new people here. Um, swig my drink, we'll sign this off. I need some paint thinners. A little bit of paint thinners and a little bit of red. I've got some red here, I might be able to nick that. It might be just enough to get... You see how watery that is? It almost looks like ball lad now. Just nicking that. You see how watery that is? That's how you much you really need that. So I'm gonna sign this off down here. An initial down the bottom there that'll be worth, worth a fortune when I'm dead. <laughs> uh, trying to look back here. Yeah, yeah, Matty Keen, if you fall asleep, you fall asleep. But thank you for being here. It's, I think it's kind of the end anyway. Um, what else have we got? Uh, Maureen said she can't paint a wall. <laughs> No, the mountain's too far away. It's, that's the idea, that the mountain's a bit, well, a bit further away than what it, that it... The mountain's supposed to be too far away. If I'd added some more trees in there, I think it would have put it back a little bit, but yeah, that's the idea. Um, you're a welcome. I love wolves. I'm thinking of getting a wolf tattoo soon. Oh, sweet. I'm going to do another wolf one in front of the moon. A lot of people have been asking me to do one with the moon. Do you frame them? Um, I haven't, no. I, although I'm going to keep a couple that I've got and probably look for some frames, but I think I just let people choose their own frames. I think that's probably the best idea. I'll send them off and then uh, people can choose their own their own one. Thank you for sharing another beautiful piece of art. Thank you, Mazikeen. 
so glad you're here tonight, thank you. The reflection is so effective, yeah. It has come up, come through quite well. That little sheen of light that was there that when I, when I started doing that thing. Uh, Maureen, I want to give it a go, but it's finding the time. Yeah, you know, a lot of people say that. Um, but obviously, if you're an extra busy person, some people work like non-stop. It's hard to find time, it is. And if you have got time, you're exhausted. But I bet you anything, if you really made the effort, you'd find it more relaxing than sitting there watching TV. Definitely. Uh, Matty Keane, yeah, exactly that. Exactly what I just said. You definitely should make some time. It's very fun, yeah. Completely agree. Matty Keane, your picture the other day was brilliant, by the way, as well. It was awesome. I think if we tap you up to 50,000 likes, you can do another painting. I'll tell you what, if we get to 50,000 likes, I might do a very small painting. <laughs> you got like five, six minutes. <laughs> you got to get your fingers and toes on there at the same time. So get your hands out and your feet and do this on the screen. Trying to work on realism. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Let me know if you, well, I'll see if you post any more as well, won't I? You can always tag me as well. Uh, Steve, yeah, it's so relaxing, isn't it? So relaxing. It's such a brilliant thing to do. I'm so glad I took it up. Shall I give you guys a bit of a closer look? I suppose I could do a quick one. If you get up to if we if we do get up to fifty thousand likes within the nights the night like the next um I don't know, let's say five, six, seven minutes or something, I'll do a quick one. I'll do a quick Northern Lights or something. Let's bring you guys closer. So you've been really close to the painting, so. There you go, from further away. Everyone say hello YouTube, because I'm gonna show you on there in a minute. This is where I'll read all your comments. That's the sound of the chair, by the way. <laughs> That's the sound of the chair. Mazzy Cone, I want all 40 people to start right now. Uh, Michelle Glenn, 12.38. Yeah, same here, exactly the same time. Uh, Yeza, thank you. Yeah, oh, it's nice to have you here. Right, yeah, let's go on to the whole YouTube bit. Yeah, we're catching them now. Let's scroll back in case I missed any. Yeah, there we go, look. Yeah, so guys, um, if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, you can see all past live streams there. And you can, like I say, it's brilliant because you can pause and pinch and zoom in to what I'm doing, which would really help if you want to give it a go. There we go. Thanks for all the gifters tonight, guys. Any new subs, welcome. We're still, we're still on six. We've still got a family of six. <laughs> there we go. Wow, well, we're at 40. It looks like I'm going to be staying on, doesn't it? For another one. I'll do a quick Northern Lights or something. I'll just have to make one up on the spot. Like I normally do. <laughs> no time to think. I've been wanting to play about with um, sort of yellows and greens. Um, so there we go. Oh my gosh, you guys are actually doing it. We're at 43.5k likes. <laughs> She's a beautiful painting. Oh, such a beautiful painting. Need my eyes tested. Um, yeah, I'm staying on by the looks of it. <laughs> Well, I've got some black canvases. I'll be doing. I'll, I'll do a quick Northern Lights or something. Maybe experiment with some. Um, 
yeah, I'm just trying to pick it properly using the brushes that I've already used. Um, I could probably get away with using some different brushes. I'll tell you what, it's cold in here though. Uh, Jerry sent a love letter times 10. Thank you so much. Much appreciated, Jerry. Yeah, I've got a gift goal going on. What's the gift goal saying? Okay, I've got one out of 28. Thank you for that for that gift. Much appreciated. Do what about some pinkish northern lights? Yeah, okay, let's go with some crimson or something. Maybe some crimson and white. Get that heat on. It makes a noise though, okay, I'll put it on. I'll put it on. Right, it's on now. Um, if it's annoying, I'll turn it off. Yeah, let's do some crimson and white then. Okay. I'll get, I'll get it set up. Um, I've got so many of these little ones, I might do it on one of these. Or I might do it on a... Let's do it on a bigger one. I'll do a 9 by 12 So yeah, I'll do a 9 by 12 9 by 12 and uh, hopefully that'll be okay. Average GTA TikToker, how you doing? How you feeling by the way? You weren't very well as well the other night. I've got a good memory. I don't know what my name is, but I've got a good memory. Jerry, thank you so much for the... Oh wow, thank you so much. I've got the hearts, look, wow. Amazing. They're all over the painting as well, look. That was cool. Thank you. Okay, I'm staying on. <laughs> you guys want me to stay on. That's a nice feeling, thank you. Jerry, thank you for the gifts. Right, I need to sort things out. I need to move this painting. I need to move this palette out of the way because I ain't going to be using that one. Put it somewhere I won't tread on it. Otherwise, I'll be making myself a new carpet indoors. Uh, let's get some tape. Just sit this back a bit. <laughs> yeah, well done, guys. You're so wholesome, honestly. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, let's go, let's go. I'm single too. <laughs> right, here we go. I'm gonna move this one out of the way and stick it up on the shelf to dry. This will probably end up going indoors as well. Because it does get a little bit cold in here. But in the summer, this is like a cookhouse in the summer. You can literally leave a chicken in here. It'll be done within about half an hour for a roast. Right, let's put this one up there. That's got a nice little home there until until that goes. So guys, um, winter, no, I can't do a rose. You asked that the other night, didn't you? I'm sorry, I can't do a rose. That's something I need to work on. It's not really my sort of thing. But maybe I'll work on that and I appreciate you suggesting that. Guys, what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do another painting, but I'm going, to stop the, I'm going to stop the stream and then restart it because I need to video edit this and it'll be a long process for me to try and split the paintings, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to stop the stream and then literally start it again. So all come back, yeah? Is that all right with everyone? And then, uh, then we can start. Just makes it easier, easier when I'm editing, if you know what I mean. All right, set that up. Right, all right, I'm gonna stop and start now. All right, guys, see you in a bit. <laughs> 